You wanted to see me? Of course. Can't you tell? Do I want to know where you put the... I put them in storage while waiting for you. I didn't want you to be more anxious than you already are. Wait, what are you talking... Let me stop you right there before you invite any unsettling guests. I've had enough of him for one day. I can sense the anxiety of anyone else here, including Thomas's, and that includes yours. So, care to talk about it? Well, I'm proud of you for coming to terms with your role as a part of Thomas. And I understand that you're growing up. It's just that I really want to be there for you. Kid or older, I really want to know that I'm doing something right by being there for you. And although I don't often show it, I'm incredibly grateful that you are. I just still have a job to do that includes striking enough fear to protect Thomas. I have a reputation that I need to live up to so that others won't take advantage of me. Now, Virgil, I know I'm the last person that should give advice regarding this because I'm usually the resident doormat or door pat until authority is needed. But I hope you realize that even though there's a time and place for you to be scary, you're still heard on and off the job. And I hope you keep in mind that you're still appreciated and loved. Not just by that eternally happy facade you have a habit of getting yourself into, but for what you've done for us, even me. Just let me know when you're off work and I can express the right amount of love you're comfortable with. I guess I should get back to house cleaning. Oh, and Patton? Yeah, Virgil? <gasps> no matter what, you will always be the fill to my Dan. I think you can say this is the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> oh, look what you did! Hey. You did it.